dinner time. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Come with me. <laughs> like a giant Oompa Loompa. Look who's finally decided to join us. Well, someone's got to do some work. Blimey, where you been? I went to the seaside. Yeah, we know. I enjoyed myself. Yeah. Uh, Not the nice drive home, though. Huh? Not the drive home, though. No. You go smell a vision. I'll tell you what, my car reeks of... I don't know what it is. Uh, sea stuff? Sea stuff. <laughs> it don't smell like sea, it smells like smelly socks. <laughs> Welcome to Reactive Terrain. It's him and me, and we are back in the shack painting, painting some walls. Look, there's some paint on the walls. We've gone black. Yeah, he, he decided he wanted to go black. We've gone black. It's great. It looks really cool, though. It's made everything. Yeah, it's a it's a very old school technique regarding fish tanks, aquariums. If you really want all the green and the colour of the fish to kind of pop, you paint your background of your fish tank. Not that we've got fish coming in. <laughs> I mean, don't give anybody. We might have a waterfall, but there's no fish. Yeah, so we've decided to go black because once we get all the greenery up and everything like that, it's really going to accent all the green and kind of make it lift a lot more. Well. Hopefully. Hopefully my trees might stand out. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> you know, all that hard work that you've been doing. G-Dog's been on holiday. Well, had a little break. I, I went, oh uh, yeah, I went to the beach for a few days. Has more breaks than the king. Huh? What? <laughs> huh? Well, actually, do you know what? I'm going to have my ears tested on I Monday. I know. We're going to finally. And hopefully, <laughs> I might get my ear, my new earphones. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? I, we were going to try two trumpets, but. <laughs> deaf. Hello? Yeah, Dad? Yeah. Nice to hear you, mate. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, so Jig Dog's come back and he's seen me do the little bit. Yeah, I, I was I, I was impressed. All right, let's have a quick look and then you can have a look. So this was the section I got done while G Dog was off gallivanting. I might as well go home because you don't need me. Do no, you? well, no, really. But it looks wicked, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm loving my tunnel. I'm glad you put a tunnel in. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you put a tunnel in. I do you know. What what I like the most here is where you've sprinkled your um, oh postcrete postcrete on. You've got such a good texture, and I, people. I don't think on video you can actually see how kind of big this is. It, it's huge. It is enormous. Yeah, and I mean it's. This is the new miners mound. This is the new miners mound. Yeah, this is the postcrete that we use um, that you see in a lot of my videos, and I just kind of throw it at it. And I actually went quite heavy on this section. Um, and it, you can tell, you know, it's uh, really added some awesome texture throughout the whole of the area. We're going to get ready to cloth the next section. Um, yeah. And then we're going to start working on the waterfall. Let's go and take you over to there. All right. So the waterfall feature that we've got going in this corner, there's a few things we have to kind of calculate. Flow and the return. You don't want it pumping more than it can actually take. Flow. I love that word. We've got a lot of it. We're going to, um, because otherwise it's just going to fill up and overflow the table quicker than it's going to return back to a filter chamber. So the return is actually going to be probably about 45 mil pipework. And the actual flow pipe that's coming up the water feature is going to be reduced down to about 30 mil. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put some ballast valves in if needed to regulate the pump. Yeah, I think we might need or the to. flow depending on what happens. But until you fire it all up, you don't know what it's going to do. You might not need to do anything. So I'll get all the raw pumping in, get it rigged up, fire it up. See if water goes everywhere. Have you seen the size of this pump you picked? It's only a baby. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on. <laughs> What's wrong with that? How many gallons is that a second? A lot. <laughs> Niagara Falls eat your heart out. I, I'll tell you what, This, if this doesn't work, it's going to... Oh, it's going to work. It will work. It's People just... are going to come here and go, no, I'm not bringing me truck. No, it's just whether we can control the flow. That's my concern. <laughs> for a while hopefully we should be able to you know put a lot of twists and turns in it you know yeah, yeah, slow yeah. it down a little bit right let's turn the camera around right and this is the basic structure of the waterfall um and we're trying to keep it looking scaled scaled looking yeah. real um so at the moment we've got this sheer edge coming up here 
obviously this will all be softened out and we've actually decided to dig out a lot more on the base and we're going to fill it with a load of natural stone yeah we've decided because i think we're all about also trying to put another layer in there yeah so, so what we've got we've got quite a lot of these large stones around the cfg job they're just in the um doorway of the old workshop so we're going to put these huge uh rocks and we've got some really long rocks that will um kind of come right up to about here and then we can bring it out of the waterfall so we've got these lots of these <laughs> 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 that do weigh quite a little bit As heavy. <laughs> um, so we've got a lot of this so we're going to stack all of this up here now the waterfall actually is stepped back so as it comes down it will actually hit a lot of the rocks that are sticking out and create a secondary water feature so you have this we're going to carve this out here so you've got this channel of water that kind of gushes out falls down hits a big rock system that we can then climb actually climb through the water up onto it come all the way up around here and then we're going to probably build some type of um, like an indiana bridge again over to here support it up here and then you head off that way right g dogs nick the camera because somebody's standing up on the terrain and i mean look it's not even let me try and get hold on adam stay stay there I mean, we shouldn't talk about a lady's weight, but that's some big boy up that's there. That's 13 stone plus. 13 stone, yeah, it whatever. It is 13. Look, right. not even... And, it's, and this is this is barely um, coated. I mean, it's not... This has only had one coat. You know, there's nothing coming off it at all. It is brilliant. So, durability test-wise, yeah, it's really strong. So, so what are you going to do up there? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to take this. Oh, I'm no. This... And then do that. Okay. Cool. No, it, I'm going to try and get through what we've kind of built at the bottom of here somewhere. We're not sure we're going to get all the way through, though, are we? Not with that drill bit. No. Um, and then I'm going to go through the board underneath. So Which is? 50 mil. So 120 mil of foam, 50 mil of... Yeah, it's not long enough. But, um... Yeah. Come on, let's just have a it's go. Come on. start somewhere. The we? viewers have got to see this. Oh, look. Nice to be... We'll come back in 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. That took a little bit longer than I thought. Yeah, but you're always a sceptic. Well. You know, boy knows. Where's your drill bit? Um, on the floor. <laughs> but gives you some type of scale. I'm 5 foot 11. And um, I can get underneath the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say it again and again. This is why we have old people. <laughs> Kill the old one first. Yeah. <laughs> Get you doing the donkey work. You Look. used to do all that. <laughs> well, leave him alone for five minutes Look again. And he's spray foaming. This is quite a fun job. I quite enjoy doing it. We just put the pipe in, spray foaming around the pipe and creating a ledge at the top because we're not quite sure how high the water's going to go. <laughs> Adam's rock sculpturing. G-Dog's rock sculpturing. I said to him, put some nice little blocks in there, make a nice little off ramp and we'll kind of close this corner up and make it accessible. This is what he did. Just can't leave him alone for five minutes. Dr. G-Dog performing skillful surgery. I wouldn't trust him making your wedding dress, that's for certain. Anyway, what we're doing is we're just uh, marking up where this next dust sheet goes. And um, basically just light it dry in position. And what we're going to be doing is just going up to the top of that ridge and then hand painting this backdrop. Um, because we're pretty confident we can get quite a good texture through the tiers of these sections here but we want to keep that bit up there as is so we're just going to paint that so we cut the excess off come on just want to show somebody something right this is how durable this is for people look yeah i know it'll blunt your knife it's just yeah, yeah. it will be how hard that is well you stood on it today
If you stood on it, it's hard. It is. Right. Uh, right, we're going to get mucky, G-Dog. Oh, again? Yeah, you can do okay. it. Right, we're going to put the camera down, we're going to get mixed in, and I'm just going to show you exactly what type of consistency we need to be mixing up to. Yep, got me wellies on this time. Got nice new trainers on today, didn't want to get them all cemented. Oh, and look, look at the sexy gloves. Yeah, G-Dog brought us some gloves, because um, <clears throat> in all fairness, guys, you should wear gloves doing this. It, it, you know, the, the cement does give off some type of, it, it will give you a chemical burn. So, you know, wear gloves, be safe, don't be idiots like we do and do it without. So we're, we've, just, used to it. we're just used to it. We have big rhino hands that don't, don't kind of get affected too yeah, much. Yeah. We can't, eat, we haven't even got a proper paddle anymore. Well, you said you were going to buy one. Now That's you've got to... Well, I forgot, so I've, I've got to use this. Oh, do you know what, G-Dog? It's lucky yeah. your son looks after you, isn't it, eh? Look, here you go. I don't want them all moaning that oh, I have it your work. Aren't you looking after me? Look at that, eh? Eh? Wow. Uh, it's just gotta it's get like to, a Christmas present. Just got to get to a plug. I got me wellies back on. Yeah, I, I, I really did get messy I, last I time. I didn't have wellies. Um, Stay wet. That'll do. That's how much he's going to gush out that waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So it's not about your measurements, so to speak. It's not like five to one, ten to one. What you're looking for is consistency. And you will have to mix up a lot more than you think because this sucks it up like a sponge and that's what you want you want it to literally suck it up so it, it, it's going to be really heavy if you're doing it um by yourself uh this big one that i did on my own was an absolute mission it was so heavy um of course i did it half a bag uh yeah so these are 25 kilo bags and that's half a bag of so oh, look at the mess you made over the new workshop floor Oh god, stand back people! Hey. Oh no! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's better. Oh, oh we're set back. Oh, I'm gonna need another shower. <laughs> At least your hands will be clean. I painted the wall, but... Right. So, that is almost... Spot on consistency. That's what I would call runny gravy. It's runny gravy. That is, that's what you need for the sheets. Obviously, if you're gonna, when you do your pasting, you want it a little bit thicker, more like a yogurt, but for doing the sheets, you don't want it too watered, but that will literally soak that all up. You may end up having to do another mix. No. Oh, look, he's gone straight in there. He's not taking any advice. Now, what you should see, as G-Dog's rolling it, see how it's creating a skin literally over the top and you can't see any of the grain that is what you're looking for but when you open it yeah it's going to be white inside oh, look, there you go so you've really got to work it so uh so g-dog's now mixing it to I'm my even... my solution uh the last the first one we did was a little watery um and so when i did the last one by myself i did a different mix and uh noticing the difference g-dog the cloth is a lot heavier um, and takes a lot more to work it into it. <laughs> you barely touched it. I haven't even got to the surface. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll lift it up, we'll put it on the desk, and we'll mix some more. Don't you dare touch my drill with those hands. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had to take it out because if you can see here, a lot of the cloth is still unsaturated with cement and water. So we're now going to go second round. The other half a bag. Okay, so that is the consistency that you made the first one at. That's yeah. it's quite watery. You see how it's still quite watery, but obviously we're, we're halfway through this one. Well, so that was one bag. That was, yeah, just had to uh, overcook the sherry a little bit. That was all. Oh right. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I told you it got heavy. I you did it right. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot lighter. A lot lighter. So that isn't the consistency you kind of want because it kind of washes off more than it actually puts on.
dog's playing chef. You know that G dog? Don't that sea air made me hungry. Well, what, have you noticed me, knife? Oh, that's, that's watch those fingers. Children, don't do this at home. This is not how you cut bread with a Stanley right. knife. This is the way builders. This is the way builders make their lunch. Tea. Yeah, <laughs> lunch. Whatever. It's a bit messy in here, isn't it? We've got we've got we've got to clear this place out for tomorrow. Guys, look look at this. Look at all this poo everywhere. Look at it. We're meant to be down here doing a comp tomorrow while having a little bit of a play with some mates. Well, in here's tidy anyway, that's all that matters. Okay, G-Dog's in there making some lunch. And this is where we got up to. So you just saw us kind of putting the sheet on. Now we didn't show the next section because it is literally just pouring cement onto it, using a paintbrush and spreading it around. Now, this section here has got a lot of undulations. So there is still quite a lot of cloth looking faces but i'm not too worried about that i can once that's gone off i will go around and just get rid of a lot of these pieces so i'm not too worried about that but overall really really happy with the mound or the mountain or the quarry we're not sure what we're going to call it yet i mean this is you've got the minor section over here so maybe it is a quarry it's got quite a nice quarry feel about it uh the tunnel's under here somewhere i just have to recut the hole back out um and we were just uh just saying if you were to do this at home and put down an 8 4 board and loads of cardboard loads of recycled materials and draped this technique over the top of it and really kind of got in there and scrunched it up like we've done in places by the following day you'll be on it crawling i mean this literally will be dry tomorrow we could use this tomorrow in 99% of the places, we're getting away with just soaking the cloth and one coat of cement, kind of a yogurt kind of mixture, uh, that type of thickness, just so you're not having to work it really hard, but just also thick enough so it's not kind of just running everywhere. Pliable, as we say, yogurt consistency. And actually, we're going to be cracking on with the next corner as well, which is going to consist of another obstacle, which is going to be called the pinch. It's dinner time. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Isn't it amazing when you just look at it and it's bare rawness? How, like, what is it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is a new obstacle zone called the pinch. Two small gullies leading both up to the crest. I'm just about to cover the whole lot. And tucked away just in here is the devil's hot tub. Over 200 millimeters deep. And we're just about to soak up the next sheet and get this corner in. G-Dog's got his gloves. Get me gloves on, son. Look at those. Awesome Look at those. Shall I see you coming with them on. <laughs> <laughs> so for your viewers pleasure, we're now using a slightly different woven style of drop sheet, dust sheet, whichever you yeah, want to call really it. Tight, it's actually it? a really tight, tightly woven, cotton, not as loose as the ones we've been using. So it might just take a little bit more to kind of get it to suck up a little bit. Imagine. You'll never get the grass stains out like that. <laughs> hey. Where's jazz when you want it? Yeah. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, yeah. He's really taking some... Do it! Come with me. <laughs> like a giant Oompa Loompa. Yeah. Oompa Loompa hands. Just put one on your head. I should do. It'll be like, like a cockerel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. We have made a decision. It's dusty well, in here. You made a decision. It's really dusty. I just go along with it. We're going. We're going for it. We're doing it. We're, we're just going to go for it because. Um, well, we've been down here today. It's half past two. We've been here since eight. We just looked at each other and went, "Well, we've almost completed it. We've almost wrapped the entire section. We're actually up to the corner already." Yeah, I mean, we've only got. So we've only got from there and the waterfall to, there. There to do. So, I reckon we're going for it. Everything's dirty. <laughs> everything's dirty. Everything's it's a dirty, dirty stage. We figured this stage makes such a mess. So let me just 
point it out if you are going to do this in your home buy an extra dust sheet and put it on the floor <laughs> here was this is where we're at this is what we've done so the new miners mound was already completed as you can tell it's a completely different color so the darker stuff is what we've done this afternoon so that is the big range and then we've just finished this area just here and the pit we've got these the pinch as we've nicknamed this corner we've got these really two tight gullies they're going to be really good fun to kind of get up and get you up to the top and then you can take the cliffhanger route all the way along the top edge or you can take devil's hot tub it's down in there somewhere take it up the section and roll it all over now we have still got cloth that is kind of creased up now there's not a lot we can do about some of these because it, we're rising we're, we're drooping there's a lot of undulation and it's very difficult to completely get it all out without piling a lot of cement on it so we're just going to leave them and then we'll just when we're making up some grass or some bushes we'll just disguise a lot of it and get it out of the way as and when we're doing it but overall it's looking pretty epic cool yep we're in so we are slowly no no let me let me rephrase that we are getting there this process has been really quick um remember this is just the kind of base coat throughout the whole of the build and it is all draped just uh, add another little coat down the river with the glue inside it now if you don't know the channel there's something called avalanche alley which on the old course was only about 30 centimeters long this one is 16 foot long that is gonna be awesome yeah really liking the effect now the cloth effect is extremely quick a lot quicker than we actually expected and yeah there is the classic kind of fabric lines you can see you know draping in a few areas but actually we got quite a lot of it out so i'm really happy with uh kind of what's left hand painted all the top and instead of hand painting the rest of it we actually draped the rest of it and that looked that come out really well I like this section just here D-Dog mucks around with his grass. I'm going to finish this episode with we are in. Pretty much done the base covering for the whole area. A little industrial area over there is going to be natural rock around the outside area, the big industrial area, so I'm not too worried about that. A little bit of an exchange to make coming on to the artificial stuff. I'm not too worried about that. The water feature is halfway plumbed in and we've covered all the top and we've kind of come up with the idea of as the water comes down we're going to fill the bottom with this nice big load of natural rocks that the water's going to crash into and kind of cascade all down and then that's going to flow out about eight foot either side over rocks boulders gravel all the usual suspect stuff you'd find in a river really really excited about getting a rig on it like it just just looks super cool 
there's some crazy, crazy lines. There's some really cool obstacles that are kind of just starting to... You right there? Yeah. <laughs> Good. It was really fine. But yeah, of course it was. That's that old age slipping out. <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, so, you know, we're, we're looking around thinking, oh, what's the next World Vice? What's the next... Uh, avalanche alley and all that type of thing and we've got some really good cool uh obstacles that have just kind of come to light you know as you start draping this stuff over you start seeing these lines and you know start creating these uh these new new obstacles yeah i'm excited um g-dog is actually trying to make grass uh we'll show you a video on if it works if it works, if it works, we'll show you a video of how to do it. You know, we're experimenting. We're doing tricks and tips and, you know, things that we've never done before. And we've got to test it before we go. Yeah, this is how you do it. Because honestly, we don't know. However, I can confirm that using a drop sheet or dust sheet, uh, cotton only, with cement, soaking in cement, with one coat over the top, you would get away with just one coat. Is fast, cheap, and super, super effective. Um, so, at the end of the day, if you are following this episode, then thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And the notification bell. And I'll, and I'll see, see you next time. time.